What's up YouTube? It's Coco Bella and welcome back to my channel. So today we're just gonna start a little segment. It is called Military Monday and we're just gonna talk about everything military related on Monday. So BMT, talk about maps, talk about tech school, whatever it is, what you can bring, what you can't bring, what to expect, what not to expect, PT, also just the eight weeks itself. So today we're just gonna start with what you can bring, like what I didn't know I can bring and what I'm telling people that you can bring, like it's okay and won't get in trouble for it, none of that stuff. So I will start off with money. Basically, bring some type of cash or bring some type of card, credit card, debit card, whatever it is. And yeah, just keep it in your security locker. So they'll tell you that you need to put your cards, your social, your ID, and all that stuff in your security locker. Bring money. I would put some money aside, at least $100 aside. Um, yes, you're gonna get paid in the while you're in boot camp, but at the same time, that paycheck does not hit until like a month in. So I would definitely bring like some type of cash or at least like put some type of money aside and then put the rest away or whatever it is you also want to have money that is taking care of your bills you want to have money in your account to where like when your bills hit you know it's going to be taken out and all that stuff so yeah i would definitely bring some money next is feminine wipes so if you go to boot camp like me like i went in the dead smack middle of the summer june and july and everybody knows that texas gets hot i'm from texas it gets hot it gets humid it's hot i remember one day it got up to 100 degrees out there and we have to walk all the way from the prc all the way back to our dorm in alcatraz so if you know that walk you know what i mean but it's a far walk so uh basically I would bring some feminine wipes if you ever need to just wipe yourself off if you ever need to wipe some sweat if you never ever need to wipe under your arms whatever it is do not bring baby wipes not good enough feminine wipes you can always bring so yeah um everything that i'm telling you guys is all at the mini mall as well so you'll have a mini mall run like your very first week once you get like your 400 dollars card um they give you a 400 dollars card and on this card it's your $400. It's taken out of your first paycheck though. So your first paycheck will be docked $400. And you, um, they give you this card. This card is also to pay for all the things that they give you in the beginning. When you first get to boot camp, you'll be sitting in a PRC. They'll take you out of the PRC and they'll bring you into like this little room and they're gonna issue you your black backpack. They're gonna issue you pens, paper, well, pens, a notebook, um, like Sharpies, toothbrush, toothpaste, flashlights, um, hand sanitizer, all types of stuff. They're going to issue you all of these things and you basically have to pay for all of those things. So when you get your $400 card and you go to the mini mall, they're going to, they have like this little sheet of paper and they just scan it off, 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 or whatever. And initially, I think it just adds up to like 80 some dollars for all the things that they issue you at first. And then you're gonna grab some more stuff that you want yourself, like you want personally. So um, all these things that I list and tell you that you can have in boot camp, then I would grab it at the mini mall or I will automatically bring it with me in my civilian luggage. So yeah, you can get feminine wipes and they're at the mini mall. Um, also, I would bring some extra deodorant. Everybody wears different deodorant. I know I wear different deodorant and the deodorant that I wore was not in the mini mall. So I had my mom ship me some deodorant. Um, so what I'm saying is bring extra deodorant. If you wear a certain deodorant and you know it's not like, a, it's not, it's not popular, then I would definitely bring it to um, BMT with me. Probably bring two or three sticks. Next, hair products. My girls that's natural out there, first of all, don't cut your hair. Please don't cut your hair going into boot camp. It is not worth it, it's not necessary. Um, I had braids when I first got into boot camp. I wore it for three weeks, I took it out, I conditioned my hair, deep conditioned my hair, twisted my hair, and then I slicked my hair back. 
you have time to do all of that. On Sundays, they, the MTIs aren't there. It's kind of like everybody's off day. You go to services, you go to church, whatever it is that you want to do. You can sit in the dorm and you can do details, you can clean, whatever it is. But on Sunday, you, help, you will have time to take a longer shower. You will have time to do your hair, braid your hair, twist your hair. If, you, um, if you're natural, you will have time to do all of that. So I would say bring your natural hair products. They're not going to tell you no. They're not going to tell you you can't have this. No. I need this for my hair. And if you don't let me have it, then my hair is going to be looking crazy. You let them know that. So bring your natural hair products. I would definitely bring my own shampoo and my own conditioner as well. I would bring the big bottles. I would bring the big bottles at first. And then if they tell you that you can't have those big bottles, I will also have those two tiny travel size bottles just in case. So you telling me I can't bring my hair products in? Bet. I'm finna transfer it into these tiny travel size bottles for now. But like when it comes down the line, you let your MTIs know, hey, I, I got already got my conditioner, I already got my shampoo. Can I go get it out of my civilian luggage? Once you get once they give you that keys to go get out your civilian luggage, I'll grab the bottles. Therefore, you ain't got to transfer it no more. That's how you do that. So, bring your own shampoo and conditioner. The Mini Mall, yes, they have it. But I think what they have was Shea Moisture. And it worked for me while I was in boot camp. But once I got out of boot camp, I was just so excited to grab some real, like, some better hair products or whatever. My hair isn't good. My hair doesn't take Shea Moisture well. So, it was just, I was just really happy to get my own hair products and stuff like that. So I would definitely bring what you need to keep your hair healthy, keep your hair growing, especially deep conditioned. I deep conditioned every single Sunday and every day, like I saw my hair growing each and more and more each day. So definitely bring your own hair products. Um, makeup. So for picture day, our MTIs was like, so yeah, you guys get to wear your own makeup. I was like, makeup? Nobody tell us we can bring some makeup. Why? You know? But yeah, you can definitely bring makeup. Girl, bring your whole whole little makeup box. Well, as long as it can fit, okay? So bring bring makeup. You'll need it for pictures. Um, if you you can also wear it for parade, but honestly I wouldn't wear no makeup for parade. I did, I think I did. But I think I just did my eyebrows. I didn't do nothing major for parade. Um but I know that like I said, I graduated in the summer, so it was hot okay hot so walking from alcatraz all the way to the parade field it is like a 30 minute walk and all you're just sweating you're drenched in sweat 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 so yeah um definitely you could bring some makeup i would bring it for picture day i would bring it for parade or whatever it is that you want to wear you can definitely have your makeup uh bring a flat iron they don't tell you to bring no flat irons but you can bring a flat iron like they're not gonna count it against you because when it comes down to uh, that eighth week they let you in and out of your civilian luggage whatever it is that you need to be prepared for a parade and all that stuff to make sure that you look good they're gonna let you get it out of your civilian luggage so basically all your flat irons and whatever it is it's gonna stay locked up in the security closet and the closet the closet is literally locked and nobody goes into it unless the MTIs open it up and let you in so yeah I would definitely bring a flat iron because again my MTI is like nobody brought a flat iron and we looking like who, who said anything about flat iron like what and I remember people was like buying flat irons from the BX from the mini mall they went and bought flat irons and all that stuff so to avoid buying a flat iron definitely go and go ahead and bring your own bring some chapstick so yeah you can buy chapstick at the mini mall. Like I said, it gets hot out there. It gets dry. Your lips get crusty. And don't nobody want no crusty lips. <laughs> so definitely bring some chapstick or at least buy some chapstick when you go to the mini mall. You're going to need it. Um, an address book. Bring an address book. And on that address book, make sure you fill out everything. Like mom, dad, sister, brother, cousin, grandma, grandpa, whoever it is wife husband kids whoever it is make sure you put everybody address on there because when you're in bmt you're gonna be bored you're gonna be completely bored especially in classes you're gonna be like hey i guess i'll write a letter don't get caught writing no letters don't get caught writing no letters when they tell you don't write 
If they didn't tell you to write letters, do not get caught writing letters. But you're gonna do it anyways. Everybody does it. They know you do it, especially when you're in class. So definitely, um, make sure you have the address written down. Uh, they do give you time to write letters, but I know we didn't have enough time to write letters. Only time I was able to write letters was literally in class and in church service. So, you be bored. Make sure you have that notebook. Um, and yeah, make sure you have like addresses written down so that you'll know who to send it to or um, whatever it is. Now, on to notebooks. Bring a diary, bring a notebook, bring a journal, whatever it is that's gonna keep you sane. If you have to write it down, then write it down. Um, I would write everything down. I know in my notebook, I wrote uh, a whole like calendar of June and a whole calendar of July. Each day I would mark the days off and that helped me out to get through it. Like, all right, only got 40 days left, you know? So just write, uh, bring a journal or you could buy one. You can buy all of this at the mini mall. Um, a journal, a diary, whatever it is, and document your days, document what happened in boot camp. Because when you leave boot camp, you're going to forget everything. And all you're going to have is that journal. All you're going to have is, you know, little bitty memories. All you're going to have, like, you're going to forget the people that you went to boot camp with, honestly. So I would definitely write everything down in that journal. And it actually helps. It keeps you sane. It keeps you going and stuff like that. Um, I would bring spandex shorts. Even if you don't wear spandex shorts, still bring them. They do tell you to bring spandex shorts. Is that actually because when you're in uniform, people start to chafe and chafing really hurts. That's when you start to get like scabs between your thighs from walking and marching too much and stuff like that. And your uniform is constantly like hitting your thighs, rubbing against your thighs and all that stuff. So I would definitely bring some spandex to stop that. Um, I know my friend was going through it like really bad, so the spandex do help. So definitely bring some spandex. Next, I would bring sunscreen. You can get sunscreen at the mini mall, um, but also a lot of people don't wear the same sunscreen. A lot of people need certain sunscreen. You need, I know we need sunscreen really bad in Beast because we were outside like 24 seven in Beast and it gets hot out there. Um, luckily we went during a week that it was like chilled. It was like green flag the whole time. It was windy, it felt good. Even one day I think it was about to rain. So we went during a good week, but you're gonna need sunscreen. It gets really hot out there. Even in the winter time, it still gets a little heated. So yeah, definitely have sunscreen. Um, pictures of your family members, any personal items, your wedding rings, um, necklaces that you wear that reminds you of people. Um, definitely have pictures of your family. I know my sister sent me pictures and my best friend sent me pictures. And every time I looked at those pictures, I was like, man, I'm going to make it through. I'm going to get through it. Only two more weeks, only three, four, whatever it is, you're going to get through it regardless. So I would bring pictures. And also, I know you can't wear your wedding ring if it's like, if it has like a diamond, but you could wear those, um, those bands. Like they have those silicone wedding rings. You could, you could wear those. Um, but if you wanted to bring your wedding ring around, I would put it on like a chain like this one and I would put like the wedding ring, you know, have it hanging like that and I'll tuck it in my shirt. They don't say anything about necklaces. You could wear necklaces. Um, you just can't have earrings, you know, belly button rings, all that extra stuff um, while you're at, while you're in boot camp. But um, if you wanted to wear your ring around your neck, I think it is possible. But like I said, you can have that silicone ring and you'll be good. But normally I would, I would, Keep it in my security locker just in case you're marching around and one day it falls off or your necklace falls off. You never know what could happen and there goes your wedding ring. Like there goes something that symbolizes everything to you. So I would definitely keep it in my security locker and every time you look at it, just remember like I'm doing this for somebody. I'm doing it for my family. I'm gonna get through for my kids. I'm gonna get through for my husband. Whatever it is, just know that you're gonna get through it. The next thing I would bring it's extra clothes bring extra clothes I know they tell you bring like one pair of clothes or two pair of clothes or whatever it is bring extra clothes because for one you're gonna need it in tech school when you leave BMT you go straight to tech school unless you're in the National Guard or something I think they go straight home 
but I know my friend that was in the reserve, she left BMT and she came to tech school with me. So you leave BMT and you go straight to tech school. You're gonna need clothes like on the weekends. I know a lot of people, everybody was shopping during tech school, like shopping, shopping. Fashion Nova, Pretty Little Thing, everything. Like shopping, shopping, Amazon, all of that. Cause you get all that sent to you, but at the same time while you're waiting, you know, you wanna have some clothes and not just those those ugly sweats that you wore into boot camp because you could be looking real crazy. So yeah, I know in I know in tech school we uh, wore our uniform for a week and then uh, we were able to wear civilian clothes after that. So we wore a uniform to school and then once school was over at like four, you took a shower, you wanted to go eat or you wanted to go hang out and all that stuff, you um, went ahead and yeah, you put on civilian clothes and you just walked around, you left base, whatever it is that you wanted to do or needed to do, you can't like you don't want to leave base in uniform so yeah i would definitely get uh bring civilian clothes or you know have that car ready to buy some civilian clothes because you gonna need it trust me um i would bring q-tips band-aids combs and brushes hair gel bobby pins and rubber bands all of this stuff is necessary Trust me, you're gonna wanna clean your ears or you're gonna wanna help somebody else clean their ears because boot camp get real hard. It get real tough out there. You're gonna be looking real rough, your roughest. Trust me. Um, Band-aids, of course. I don't know if we had a first aid kit. We probably did, but I ain't see it. I never needed it. So um, yeah, I would just have my own personal band-aids anyway. Combs and brushes, of course. You're gonna need combs and brushes. Do your hair and hair gel i know that um you can bring eco styler whatever it is and also um i need it got to be and i remember i had been using eco styler the whole time and of course eco styler don't work that good on natural hair especially on some 4c hair like mine and i had just been using that or trying to use it and then one girl got recycled into our flight and she had some got to be gel y'all I was so excited because that is exactly what works on my hair. It slicked my hair back. My hair never looked better. It never lasted so long. I was just so excited. So yeah, bring your got to be gel. Um, whatever ha holds your hair, bring that. Gel is very necessary in boot camp because you're only gonna be wearing a ponytail ever. Um, next, I would bring tissue for your nose. So let me tell y'all about tissue in BMT. BMT is very strict about tissue. You only get a certain amount for the week. And um, once you're out, you're out. And no, you can't buy no extra tissue from the mini mall that I think it's illegal to actually do that. Buy tissue from the mini mall and put it in the stalls and stuff. You cannot do that. So um, bring like some tissue. Uh, I would say like tissue for your nose or whatever. Bring tissue for your nose because when you're when you get to BMT and your dorm, being in that environment and it's like brand new to you, it's really dusty in there. So your your throat is gonna start itching, your nose is gonna start running, um, you're gonna be sneezing, you're gonna be coughing, you're gonna think that you're sick when really you just get an attack by dust. You're sleeping in dust, you're living in dust, you du you moving dust around all day, every day. Like it's just so dusty in there. I've never been in a, I think they just grab dust from outside and just pour it in our dorms at night because literally it is so dusty in there so yes you would definitely need tissue for your nose just bring that little pack of tissue um because i wouldn't want to waste any toilet tissue because they crazy about the toilet tissue so yeah um bring some febreze or buy some febreze because you want to go to bed at night and you want your pillow to smell nice I know I wanted my pillow to smell nice because I didn't like the way that the linen smelled. The linen smelled like real weird, so I just started smearing it down with Febreze. And also, your um, flight members are just gonna be like, hey, can you spray my bed too? So yes, bring some Febreze or buy some Febreze from the mini mall. Next, I would bring smell good lotion and spray. I remember one time we was all lined up for PT and this one flight came downstairs. It was an older flight, like our sister flight or whatever. And they came downstairs and they smelled so good. Like, bro, we're just going to go run around in some circles and y'all smelling this good. I'm talking about the whole flight smelled good. And we was like, 
Watch out. Y'all yo got that in my work. Oh, say less. So next time we went on a mini mall run, everybody went in there and grabbed some Bath and Body Works lotion, spray, whatever it is. We all got it. We were all smelling good. Plus, they get the dorm smelling good anyway. So after that shower, rub yourself down, some Bath and Body Works. It makes you feel like a girl again. It makes you feel like, you know, a normal person again or whatever. Like, hey, I'm wearing smell good lotion, period. Smell good. So yeah. And also bring some regular lotion, of course. Um, especially when you are walking around all day you don't want to really smell like a uh, bath and body works bus do attract mosquitoes are real they are real out there okay and you don't want to you know attract too many mosquitoes and stuff like that so i would bring smell good lotion but yeah that's all i have for today if you guys have any questions just leave them down below you can also hit me up on my instagram snapchat twitter whatever it is with more questions but we are doing this thing every monday i will drop a video about something about the military or whatever and we just gonna get through it so like i said if you have any questions if you have any ideas i would definitely try to answer all of them but thank you guys for watching my channel and i'll see you next time bye